What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay with the playback with another video. And today, we're going to be looking at the top 10 power comparisons to people that compare to Power Book 2 and compare to Power Book 1. All right, y'all, let's get it. First and foremost, shout out to my dog, Drew Freeman. He's been here since day one. He always believing me good comments on my videos. And he had made this comment right here. And he actually had gave me the idea to kind of do this video right here. So, with that being said, shout out to my dog. He's been here since day one. And I would love to give a shout out to everybody else who be making good comments. Y'all be making my day. Please leave a comment below and I will answer y'all questions as soon as I can. All right, y'all. First and foremost, we got your boy Tyreek and Ghost. Tyreek is the ghost of Power Book 2. He is now the new ghost. Obviously, he wanted to be like this dude so bad. Although Ghost is more street smart than book smart, while Tyreek is more book smart than street smart. With that being said, they both are very intelligent. But yes, in fact, Tyreek is now the new ghost. Now, next, we got your boy Tommy and Brayden. Although Brayden ain't showed sure us that he's fully capable of being the next Tommy. Tommy has all the badges you can look for. Raiden showed us that he is about that life from that one episode when he sold him drugs. Then again, he ain't showed us yet that he's fully the new Tommy. But do y'all think Brady can finally live up to that potential? Tommy practically killed half of New York City by himself. There is no secret on how vicious Tommy is. Tommy will kill you if you get on his bad side without even thinking twice. But that being said, what y'all think might go for Brayden? Now next, we got your boy Kane and Kane Nan. There's no secret to how ruthless Kane is, but he still has a long way to go to be Kane Nan. Kane Nan is definitely the coldest killer in power. But Kane kind of reminds me of all of a young version of Kane. And hopefully we get to see how he is the same way in Power Book 3 seeing the younger version of himself. What y'all thinking that's for Kane? All right, so now we got your boy Zeke. And then we got your boy Sean. Sean and Zeke are kind of the same. They're actually like a light. You know, they got the whole basketball thing going on. And they just be clapping cheeks back to back. So with that being said, Sean was actually my favorite character on Power Book 1 until he died. But with that being said, they both, I'm not saying fully soft, but they is kind of soft. And they not meant for the street life. But they do get introduced to the street life early. All right, now we got your boy red ass dre and then we got Lil guap let me know if y'all can spot the difference i think that they the same because they always getting beat up then as soon as they get a gun pull out on them then they get scared and they start crying y'all know dre always cries as soon as something happened to his daughter and y'all know Lil guap always cries as soon as somebody pull out a gun on him just as y'all see last episode as soon as kane had killed both of his men to pull that gun on, on him he started crying like a little girl but he was just acting hard earlier that same day when he been ambushing zeke and them so y'all let me know what y'all think about Lil Guap. Y'all think he might mess around and die? Because to me, he most likely is. So now we got the two queens, one Monet and then one Tasha. Obviously, right now, Monet has way more power than Tasha does, due to the fact that Tasha is now in jail. Being that the fact that if Tasha do get out of jail, she still wouldn't amount to how much power that Monet has against her. Seeing that Ghost is dead and Tommy's not out of here, we all is waiting for Tommy to come back though. But even if she is out of jail, she wouldn't even have much power towards her. Obviously, this show at one point is going to make Tasha and Monet come face each other. And when they do come face each other, who y'all think might come back on top? Tasha? Or Monet, we both see that they both got bodies on the show so far as we can see. Who y'all think might win though? Okay, so now we got the lawyers. They was McLean and then we got Joseph Proctor. I think Davis McLean is also a very important character towards the show because he has to be able to convince this judge that Tasha is innocent. But being that the fact that he's nothing like Proctor, Proctor has delivered a clutch several times to help out the St. Patrick family and he went outside of his job to help that family out, causing himself to lose his job as a lawyer but as soon as david mcclain get down he makes one deal with sax and now he turns evil good thing tasha didn't notice that davis mcclain was up to something seeing two big come in court that one time so now tasha can't even trust her own lawyer that's crazy and now tyreek is over here risking his life just to save up the money to pay for the lawyer proctor on the other hand would do anything to protect his peoples but that being said how do y'all think it might end up for davis mcclain y'all think he might end up getting killed i don't think he will end up getting killed but he might end up being exposed in some way. This might not be the only dirty thing that he might do. All right, now for the last three, we got three of Tyreek's love interests. One being Effie, the next one being Diana, which is Monet's daughter, and the last one being Lauren, who we see go to school with Tyreek. And now in comparison-wise, it's more safe to say that Effie's more compared to Ramona because they're both mysterious. We really don't know their background like that, and they barely be in the episodes like that. And Diana being more compared to Tasha, being that hood rap type girl, she act just like Tasha. And then, and Lauren be more compared to Angie, because she is that Angie type. And I think that Tyreek might end up choosing her more than any of the other girls. Yes, on the last episode, he did mess with Effie, though. But I really do think that he might choose Lauren, though. All right, y'all, that's my top 10 important characters slash compared characters towards Power Book 1. With that being said, hopefully I shared y'all some new information that y'all didn't already know. And I know y'all already seen our trailer for Episode 9. Hopefully 
hopefully y'all get to see this video before it drops because I know we drop at 12. With that being said, please like and share this video and please subscribe. I see that my snowfall video is starting to blow up. I appreciate everybody that went ahead and had watched it. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe too and like and share and comment. And I will be answering y'all questions back in the comments. All right, y'all. Peace.